Welcome back to the May 2020 layout update. It's another month in lockdown, but I can assure you that plenty of changes have taken place. Previously, I used to use Diddy Trains Pro on the layout, and um, before that, I used Wii Throttle. But now they've decided to make Digitrains Pro paid only and you have to pay £5 a month, which in my opinion is far too much. So I've gone back to Refrottle, which isn't the nicest of applications, but it does work and it works quite nicely on the phone as well. It allows me to do this, basically the same things except it's harder to control two trains on one code device. Whereas did your trains pro remembered everything always so you could control two trains whereas this doesn't which is slightly annoying but I'll get over it and I've been using these two devices together for a week and it works so that's all you can really ask for you will have probably noticed by recent videos I have now converted all the multiple units to DCC the only locomotives I haven't converted to DCC are the steam trains but I don't use them much because they're steam, they look a bit odd on a modern layout and I don't particularly like steam for those of you who are watching this interested in steam but as you can probably see I don't like steam because I've got modern everywhere and apart from the Pullman coaches and bits over there there isn't and the steam locomotives over there there isn't any steam on the layout or anything from that period Another big thing was the alteration of track over here. It, although it's minor, it's quite a big thing because I used to have the platform one over here go all the way around. However, it was hard to get the platforms on second radius to look realistic because of the overhang of the coaches on the train on the curve. So what I'm doing is I'm bringing the leftover curve round here to join onto there, and the platform will be terminated into station terminus. I just generally do prefer station to terminus as compared to through stations. I don't know what it is, I just do. In fact, if you're interested, when I first built the layout, Wainbury Central, this station, was not on the plan. And in fact, it was only on the plan because of analog control and how I used it. Now I've converted to DCC, I don't actually really need the station, but it's just nice, you might as well keep something when you have it and it looks so good so this station was here because I needed to stop trains to cross over between the two loops because I need to put one in isolation so I could get the two trains to cross each other now what that meant was I had to stop a train somewhere and personally I don't like stopping trains anywhere on the layout where there's not a red signal and at that time I didn't have any signals on the main line so the obvious thing was to build a station and the station is just made from two planks of wood you can see the split in the middle where the two planks join. Now it may not look like two planks of wood to you, but it is two planks of wood. And I think when I first did this station, I think I recorded how I built it. You can see that on one of the very, very oldest of my videos. I weathered rail in sidings. This is just so that it looks a bit more realistic. I can weather the top of the rail here because I never use this siding because that point's broken. So it's always in that direction. Well, I can change it, but it doesn't really work very well, and it always derails trains in the other direction. And this loco doesn't have a motor in it, so there's no point. Revered some rail over here. Yeah, you can see. I revered the siding only. Just just in case. I don't particularly like putting rust on the main line, because I like running trains fast. And I like running trains smoothly on the main line. Since we're in lockdown, it is harder to get items I am thinking about getting another multiple unit because I normally get one around this time at water railway shows but there just aren't any at the moment I mean you're probably aware because uh, you can't exactly go out of your house for any reasonable reason for any uh, well, sorry for any unreasonable reason in in this lockdown so you can't go to the model shop buy a train you can't go to motor rail shows buy a train so I might have to resort to online shopping which is slightly more expensive but I do have a list cheap shops which fingers crossed will provide me with a few options I think I've got two options I've got one of the Hornby 466's 
maybe I could get, but that was a bit expensive. But, and I also, having, I always have, have a look at the service sheets before I buy model trains, just to check what motor's in them. And it turns out the Hornby 466 has a motor in it, which is infamous for setting fire if it's in up a steep grade and gets stopped, your motor will burn out very quickly. If you want to see that, head over to Sam's Trains channel. But, another option was the Backman Class 170. Although I've already got one, this one is in a different livery, which is Southwest Trains. I might consider getting that, but it's all for the future at the moment. I'm not sure what will happen. I mean, I'm not sure what will happen anyway in the future because of this lockdown. But hopefully it will all end quickly and we'll go back to normal life. So this is the end of the video. Stay safe, and I'll see you on the next video.